How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. A few things to talk about today. We've got a new car which has been spotted within the game that we're not able to drive yet, along with a new DLC slash expansion slash Horizon story which has been confirmed. We're going to talk about all that today. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We do stuff like this all the time. I keep you all up to date. Let's get into it, shall we? So as I said, there's been a new car spotted within the game, and it is the Lotus Evora S. If you go to your festival playlist, as this guy pointed out on Reddit, and you have a look at one of the danger sign sort of screenshot images, you'll see that it actually contains the Lotus Evora S, which is not in the game. Obviously, this brings the question, are we going to get the Lotus Evora S in any upcoming update? It's obviously in the game. One of the developers has actually had to drive it to make this screenshot. Whoever does that kind of stuff behind the scenes. It has actually happened in the past though where cars which have been spotted within screenshot and the festival playlists and trailers and they haven't actually ended up coming to the game. Like back in Horizon 4 we had the Ford Focus ST in the festival playlist screenshot. screenshot. This was never added to the game along with the Shelby Raptor spotted in a trailer and screenshot as well. Once again it never ended up in the game so just because the Lotus is in a screenshot doesn't entirely mean it's coming but it's, it's possible, it's certainly possible. So what we can do now is we can add it to the updated leaked car list. I'm gonna make it blue because we've actually seen physical evidence of the car within the game as a model. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see it in the game in the future. Now we do need to remember that just because we see the car in the files or anything like that does not mean we will ever get it, it just makes it a bit more likely. Now let's get on to the main point of today's video which is very exciting. You may have heard of Donut Media, they are a massive YouTube channel that focus heavily on modifying cars, chucking loads of money into rubbish cars, expensive cars, they're just a brilliant car enthusiast car channel. They do stuff like taking really cheap cars and putting tons of money into them and seeing you know, what they're like cheap parts versus expensive parts they do all types of videos well most recently a couple of days ago on one of their podcasts they ended the podcast with saying this uh we've been under nda for a long time and this is a perfect time to announce that nolan me job jer and justin are all going to be in a forza dlc pack mm -hmm. um you can drive high car low car the money pit cars uh, high truck, low truck, all of our stuff. Um, yeah, an entire Donut Media downloadable pack uh, for Forza Horizons. So that's coming out in August or September. September. And uh, yeah, super stoked. They scanned our faces. Very cool. Now, if you don't know what an NDA is, very quickly, an NDA is something that you sign basically to promise that you're going to keep your mouth shut. All of the develop, all the. I'm sure all of the developers of Forza Horizon 6 are currently under an NDA. They're not allowed to talk about it. That's what Donia Media are saying. They're finally allowed to talk about what they are bringing to Horizon 5 in, they said, September. They worded it as a DLC pack, so we, it seems like we're getting some kind of Donut Media DLC pack that's coming to the game. Now, whether this is going to be paid or free, we're not too sure. I've seen some people say this is actually the second expansion or some kind of expansion, which is not going to be the case. I'm sure Playground Games wouldn't do that. Bearing in mind that September is already next month, we're already in August, so that just wouldn't make any sense. So I'm predicting it's some kind of DLC pack, car pack, or maybe even Horizon Story. Because as you saw in that clip, they mentioned that their characters themselves are actually in the game. They had their faces scanned, which presumably means they've got some cutscenes, which only usually happen in Horizon Stories. Very similar to the Top Gear pack we had in Horizon 4, with a bunch of new cars and Horizon Story. That is probably what the Donut Media thing is going to be all about, which is still pretty damn cool. Now what else do we think is going to be within this DLC pack or story? What cars are we going to get? Well within their clip, as you, as you saw, they mentioned their high-low cars are going to be in it and their money pit cars. Now they do series where they take really cheap cars and just chuck loads of money at it, loads of upgrades, modifications and stuff like that. And then they've got a high-low series where they take the same car and buy really cheap modifications for it 
and really expensive modifications for the other one. Comparing cheap Chinese parts with expensive parts, does that make sense? Now they've done this with a few cars, they've done this with the Nissan 350Z. They have a highly modified one that costs loads of money and then a one that didn't quite cost as much. They did the same thing with the Toyota Tacoma, a truck, and then they have a couple of money pit cars where they just throw money at it, the BMW E36 and a Miata. Presumably we can expect that these cars will come to the game. Whether we're just going to get the low spec versions or the high spec versions, I don't know. That's what we're going to have to wait and see. But these vehicles are more than likely the ones they're on about. They do have a couple of other miscellaneous vehicles they didn't mention, but they are on the channel which are the merch truck or merch van, I think it is, which is just a merch van, but it's Donut Media branded. And then there is a Leonardo DiCabrio car as well. I need to make sure I pronounce that right. Those are two other vehicles that Donut Media have that may be within the DLC pack. We don't exactly know how many cars we're gonna get, if they're gonna be in a Horizon story, we're not sure. Now they have had lots of cars over the years, so we're not really sure which ones are coming, but what we can do is go to their most recent video, which literally is a video ranking all of their current cars. So if we if we're to make any safe bets, we can go to this video and take the cars from there, which are their current cars, which are probably the ones coming to the game, unlike the ones from the past from years ago. So the full list of every car that could come, the high car, the low car, the high truck, the low truck, the E36 money pit, the Miata money pit, the Merch van, and the Leonardo DiCabrio. Those are the cars that on the Donut Media channel they're known for. There may be some others that I've missed, but those are the ones that we should expect or hope for. It would make sense to me that they would have a Horizon story with the characters, that makes sense. And you start off the Horizon story in the really cheap, unmodified 350Z, and your goal is to get to the end, which gives you the modified one, which Donut Media did. That might be a possibility. What else do we know about it? Well, the release date, presumably, will be sometime in September, just like he said. He did originally say August, but then corrected it to September. Now, we already know that Series 11, which is the next one, starts on the 18th of August we can see right here. Now nothing on this screen really hints at anything Donut Media related so I don't think this is going to be in series 11. I think it's going to be in series 12 which starts on the 15th of September. Makes the most sense to me. Bang in the middle of September, start of a brand new series. That is probably when the Donut Media car pack or expansion, whatever it's going to be, is going to release in my opinion. I might be wrong, it might be within series 11 We'll have to wait and see. Either way, sounds like a really good expansion or update just to add to what we're getting anyway next month. I'm sure on this channel I'll keep you guys up to date if we find out any more information about what's coming and what isn't. That's why you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this, what you're predicting it's going to be. A story, a mission, a campaign. What do you reckon? Let's see if any of us are right. Anyway guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this and I'll see you all later.